This short video shows you how you can make a sound mod using the sound script manifest base. In this specific guide, I'm going to show you how you can add more songs to the jukebox. It should go without saying that adding more songs to the jukebox is not the only thing you can do. You can also change distance sounds, like the guns in Left 4 Dead 1, and even more things. But all of that is up to you. This video is just merely here to show you how you can use and manipulate the script. But for what it's worth, adding songs to Chukebox is a good start. If you wanna do more complex stuff, you have to learn and figure out how that stuff works yourself. I'm sorry. First we start by opening the sound script base folder and copying out the sound script of the jukebox. So head to scripts, custom, music. Then recreate an add-on folder using this folder structure. In our case, I'm going to make a folder that's called music underscore jukebox. Within it, create the scripts, custom, and music folder. Once those folders are made, copy the jukebox.txt sound script into that folder. Open the sound script and just leave it open for now. We are not going to use it right now, but while we're here, we're gonna open it. Go back to the music jukebox folder and make the sound folders. Sound, music, and then new jukebox. Now here's the fun part. Go to wherever on your computer you have your music. Copy paste any mp3 files that you want into the new jukebox folder. Now one thing we have to do is in all those mp3 files we have to remove the spaces. I'm going to use a tool called Renamer. It is a free tool that allows us to swap all spaces with underscores. If you are using Renamer, just drag and drop the mp3 files into the bottom window, double click the top window and use the replace option to replace space with underscore. Then click the rename button and close Renamer. Also important, if you have special letters like the German double S, that looks like a B, don't work. You have to replace them with Latin letters. Because those are MP3 files, we have to turn them into waveform files. The game can load MP3, but sometimes MP3 sounds has a problem where they just cut off other sounds. That is not something that we want. In the description below, there is a link to a GitHub page that shows a bat file. This bat file makes use of FFMPEG to convert the mp3 files into WAV. Furthermore, it prints out the list of all the sounds inside the folder. We are going to use that later because we have to write down the names of the songs into the sound script. So, just make a new text file, call it whatever the hell you want, ending in bat. Edit this bat file with a text editor of your choice, paste the content of the GitHub page, and then double click the bat file. That will automatically convert all the mp3 files into waveform files. Do not close this bat window, because we will need to copy all this text that it spits out on the bottom. Open the sound script of the jukebox. For now, just paste the copied lines into the very top of the script. If you are using Notepad++, you can make use of its column mode. By pressing Alt and Shift together, you can make a selection across multiple lines on any width that you want. We can use this to delete the folder path in front of the song names. If you scroll down a little, there is an example of how to add RND wave into the sound script. Those lines that begin with this here. Copy those lines and paste them over the waveform lines of all the songs. 
don't forget to remove the comment and the this here part of those lines. Now we are going to remove the example sound file names from the list, duplicate those listings a few times more so that we can paste the song names, copy the song names using column mode once again, and then just paste those into the new added sound listings of R&D Wave. Don't forget to add the quotation marks at the ends of the lines, otherwise the script won't work. Now you can copy the R&D wave into every single waveform of every single one of those sounds. After you swapped out the wave lines with the R&D wave, you can scroll to the very top and delete the temporary song names because now we no longer have any use for them. Then save the sound script. By now you can also close the CMD prompt, we no longer have a use for it. You can also delete the bat file now if you want. Or maybe keep it for next time. The time you installed the sound script manifest base, you had to create a shortcut to the game info. This comes in handy again because now we have to add the music jukebox or whatever sound mod folder you have to the game info. To do that, just open the game info shortcut, scroll down to the custom sounds sound script baseline, and somewhere above it make a new line called custom sounds slash then the name of the folder that you just made. In our case, music jukebox. Save the game info. Now we have one last thing to do. We have installed the sounds, but we still have to create the sound cache. To create the sound cache, open the game and use the command snd underscore build sound cache for directory, followed by full stop full stop slash exclamation mark custom underscore sounds slash and now the name of the folder, music jukebox. You are going to be loaded into a load screen and at the bottom of the console it should tell you how many files have been touched. Once this menu pops up, you can close the game. Now you can load the game, load any map where the sound would be emitted from, and then just play the sound. One thing I forgot to mention in this video. The music jukebox folder that has the sound and scripts folder in it. In this folder you can create an add-on image and an add-on info TXT, pack it up as a VPK, upload it to the workshop, and then tell people to download the weapon script manifest base, install it, and then install your mod using the instructions of that video. Because this mod used the sound script from my mod, you obviously need the sound script manifest base to even allow the function of the sound script that this mod comes with. But anyhow, that is how you make a sound mod using the sound script manifest base. Pretty simple, isn't it? If you require any help with modding, you can join the Dead for Mods Discord server. If you want to just chill and hang out, we have chat channels for that too. I also have my own Discord server. It's mostly about shit posts and memes and sometimes loot shit, but you can still hang around if you want. Either ways, see you next time. Take care.